okay guys uh welcome back to the real fx youtube channel and if you just joined the channel welcome to the channel and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell icon so that youtube will notify you when we post another video now in this video we're going to be talking about quasimodo levels and the mpls uh, mpl levels and we're also going to be focusing on the first type of entry and the second type of entry so i'm gonna Q M L or in brackets that's the quasimodo the quasimodo level. It's a very it's, it's a very important concept, especially when you're, you're trading uh, SMC. It's a very important concept. So this is the QML, the quasimodo level. Now, what do we know about the QML? So if you don't know anything about the QML, let me introduce you. So the QML is when you're trying to find when we want we spot a reversal change and we want to join the new trend that is happening. So the market will be pushing to the upside like this. And then everyone can see that this is an uptrend because here we have what? A break of structure. That, that, that is a break of structure. That's a BOS. That's a BOS. So let's save that uh, for the future. Let's save that as a BOS. That was a BOS. And again, here we have another BOS. We have another BOS. So we are we are pushing to the upside. We are in an uptrend. As you can see, we are also forming. This is the higher high. That's a higher high. Let me change the color. That's a higher high. These things are very important. These are the basics of market structure, guys. This is also a higher high. And this one over here would be our higher low. So that's the higher low. And this is a, a higher low. And then after that higher low, we have this this happens in the market we create a lower low so when we create that lower low we can see that we now have a break of structure to the downside and this break of structure to the downside is called the change of character some call it the bio be the break of mark of market structure so this is the charge and then when this happens this here this here is a is our higher high and then our higher low so this is a sign that the market is now changing trend pushing to the downside so where would our qml be our qml would be here This is our QML level. This is our QML level. So where would our MPL be? So our MPL would be on this zone here. On this zone here, we're gonna be having our MPL. So our MPL is the maximum pain level. So I'm gonna dive deep into the maximum pain level in just a few seconds. So let me get rid of this. And then let's focus on what happens when the market gets to so here the market is in the form of a retracement is trying to retrace and when it gets here this is a, this is one of the decision points because it's either the market could bounce push to the upside from that higher high or the market could break through and then push to the downside so here it's a decision point and then this is where we tend to see our mpl because here lot of things can happen the market could 
the market could retest on that on that higher high and then create uh make people believe that the market is going to be pushing to the upside and then again break to the downside make people believe that it's not going to be selling and then it breaks again that qml level it comes to this level here and then that's when we finally see the market pushing to the outside taking out uh the previous low which is the which is this higher low here now creating now this here i'm sorry this here guys is our lower low now there it created a lower low so where is our mpl level so this zone here would be our mpl level so the mpl level most of the time at the mpl level there's a lot of manipulation there's a lot of manipulation the mpl tends to be like this so when we highlight the mpl level as you can see here we have this part here this could convince you that okay the market is has retested the, this higher high here this mql here and then it's not gonna push to the upside or maybe it can induce you to believe that this market is gonna push to the downside so there's a lot of manipulation here and then uh, because of that many forex traders tend to lose money when it comes to this level here so what happens here is we have market pushing to the upside and the downside so as you can see the market is taking liquidity from both sides and the, also the downside so when this happens people will be looking to buy here or sell when there's a breakout to the downside so what happens is the market leaves that qml it breaks this structure here creating a lower low and then the market pushes back into our mpl and then we see the market push to the downside so here the market will create a lower high and then it will further create another lower low here the market will now create another lower low there so as you can see here's our maximum pain level we take this here all the way to that is our maximum pain level so we enter from there and then we take to the downside so this setup here this whole setup that you can see here guys this is the quick retest this is where the market just breaks to the downside and, and quickly goes back into our mpl level and then pushes to the downside but in another case let me show you what's likely to happen in another case this is likely to happen so the market is likely to push to the downside and then when it breaks to the downside the market maybe comes back to this zone here and then it continues to create this structure like this creating the structures like this and then it pushes to the upside and then that's when you can you can also start focusing on finding uh qml and mpl on this side so that you can take the buy so that you can buy so that you can also be able to sell this is called buying to sell so when the market reaches there on our mql level that's when we make our decision of of selling that's where we make our decision of selling so as you can see here the market broke structure the market broke structure like that break of structure break of structure and break of structure here and then charge and then finally we have the change of character we have the change of character so when we see this kind this change of character do not make a mistake of believing that this change of character is going to affect this part over here so this change of character is a change of character so that the market can push back into our mpl so this is where we would start to be looking to start looking for our buys to sell so we might also have some so sort of an mpl on this area we might also have some sort of an mpl on this area a maximum pain level here and that that's when we know okay here we are buying to sell so here we can have what uh, smc traders as smc trader, traders we tend to call this liquidity but people who trade only exclusively the mql tend to call this r1 so th those are the resistant levels 
these are the resistance levels and then it's very important that you spot these things first so that you can validate if your mql setup is gonna play out this is very important guys if you can't spot everything that is in here then there's a higher chance that you, your setup won't play as expected so on this higher high here that's where we have our MQ, M, M, mql level that's where we have our qml level so when the market pushes into our our mpl level that's where we should be able to take our decision so this is how the first way you take your decision is to see the market push when it reaches this area here the market starts having a decrease in terms of momentum it's very important and then you see that change of character now we enter using what we enter using again the same concept but in a smaller time frame which is the qml concept and then that's when you can start pushing to the downside as you can see here what we have that's where we're gonna be having our qml where is our mpl level our mpl level is likely to be here so as you can see we just reduced a very big stop loss by entering here aggressively we reduced that stop loss the stop loss would have been like 38 pips that's a lot but if you use a confirmed entry it becomes around 11 pips the take profit is the same and then reducing your stop loss also increases your, your risk to reward ratio your risk to reward ratio so that's where we're gonna be looking to to take our trade so as you can see the reduced one is one is to 18 and the aggressive one is one is to eight so by reducing our stop loss we almost doubled actually we did double our we did double our risk reward ratio so this is this is exactly what you must look for in the market this is exactly what you must look for so on this kind of setup we have three phases of this setup we have the first phase of the setup which is you, you have to study price all the way here and then you have to see change of character that's the first that's the first part of the strategy you have to study the past price action as you can see when the market pushes to the downside this is the this is the first part which is past price action so this is pr past price action so that's the past we realize okay in the past we've been having a, 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 a an upward trend and now we just made a charge and then the second part is we wait and see how the market plays so this is the this is the play out stage this is the play out stage or we can have the process this is the process so this is the process stage and finally let's label that so this is the process stage process stage that's our process stage and then we have the approach now the approach is very important guys you should study how the market is approaching your mpl whether you're trading the quasimodo levels or whether you're trading whatever strategy that you're using guys it's very important to study how the market is approaching your trading point so if, if you're trading from other blocks or you're trading from uh fibonacci levels or you are using indicators whatever it is that you're using guys you should always study how the market is approaching your entry point so if the market is, uh, uh, is approaching your entry point aggressively with a very strong momentum it's very unlikely it's very likely that the market is going to uh invalidate your order block or your trading area it's very likely that they're gonna lose the trade so this is the approaching phase so as you can see what is happening in the approaching phase and if you wanna know if you are stay tuned for this video so because at the end of this video we are going to be having a case study on one of the forex pairs and then you're gonna be see you're gonna be seeing how this strategy played out on that setup and then we made a lot of money from it so as you can see when the market approaches our mpl there's a, a change in the momentum of the pair so you can see that okay the 
the bullish are now losing charge over the market and then it's like the sellers are now coming into the market so as you can see this is the, the approach stage the approach stage guys it from normally it has this a small trend here going on here this small trend and then it's very important guys to make to take a confirmed entry it's very important okay guys so let's quickly go through the first uh, retest this is an example of the first retest which is the quick retest so we have a higher low here a higher high a higher low a higher high higher low a higher high and finally a lower low so this is the first part which is the past price action now here let's label our chart let's label our chart break of structure break of structure and what do we have a change of character a change of character and then once we have that change of character let me go ahead and this is the this is the break of structure with the break of structure let me use a red color that there guys is the break of structure and again this is the break of structure here and here we have our change of character or our BMS and where is our QML level this will be our QML level so let's just take let's just put the candle yes let's put it on the body and what do we see where is our MPL level this is our MPL level from the MQL level all the way to the high all the way to the high like that and as you can see let's dive deeper into the MPL level so the MPL level is as you can see we had this low here so the market pushed toward to the downside of this MQL level so many people might have thought okay now it's selling to the downside and then it pushed to the upside some people might have thought okay now it's buying to the upside and then it kept bouncing between that so there was a lot of manipulation there so there's a lot of manipulation there that's why it's called, it's called the maximum pain level because you're gonna get some pain when the market is busy manipulating you right there and then let just look at how it created this is an area of a supply this is an area of supply here a very significant area of supply and then the market pushed to the downside so as you can see here it had only this part here it had only this part here so this one doesn't have a lot of all this resistance the first resistance the second resistance no it doesn't have all of that so as you can see there so the market tapped into our mpl level and then where is our entry our entry is exactly the stop loss just above our mpl level take profit the low take profit at the low the lowest of them all and then as you can see the market did eventually hit take profit but don't wait for the market to fully hit your take profit when it's 50 percent of a take profit to take something off the table so that when the market manipulates you you know for sure that uh you got something out of the market now another thing here let's look at it another second entry here we could have taken as you can see here we have here we have what we have this push to the upside this is a minor uh leg retracement here and then a push to the upside and then this change of character obviously and then here's our change of character 
these things work guys you just have to practice them hard enough so that you can easily spot them on the market so where is our the qml where is the mpl here is our mpl here is our mpl so we could have easily caught another trade entering from where entering from here again our stop loss right there so when this one this uh, this trade over here got somewhere here we broke even on this one so we are no longer having a loss on this one we had break even so we don't stand a chance of facing a loss and now we enter another one here the take profit is still the same thing it's still the same thing so as you can see it's, it's one is to eight the first one was probably was probably more than that the first one was probably one is to nine so we got a one is to eight and a one is to nine so the first one we took risk of the table and then we enter through the second one and price did hit our take profit our take profit after some few hours second setup which is uh as you can see here we are pushing to the upside as expected the high that's a higher high a higher low a higher high a higher low a higher high a higher low and then a higher high and then after this higher high we have this push to the downside this is the push to the downside so let's let's label this guys this would be that would be our higher high as you can see this is an uptrend that would be our higher high this one also here is our higher high this one here is also our higher high and then this one here is also our final higher high and then we have this one over here this is a lower low lower low now this is a higher low higher low and we also have a higher low here another higher low and then finally as you can see this is just minor structures we have here here we have our this is our lower low and then we then have again another lower low here and then this here would be our lower high lower high so that high here is lower high because it's lower than this high here so when things are like that let me get rid of this line here let me get rid of that so as you can see let me get rid of that too as you can see what do we have break of structure break of structure break of structure and then finally a change of character a change of character so that is our change of character there and then we also have a break of structure here so this one here would be our BOS this one here will also be our BOS BOS this one here 
could be or BOS and then this one here is our change of character let's put that in blue that is our church so some people call it the change of character some people call it the change of market structure some people prefer using the one two three formation one two three four five formation but it's still the same thing so that is our change of character so where is our QML level so here we have our QML level so this line here is our QML level so the QML level there's our QML level and then as you can see we have R1 here we have R1 R1 okay we have this is R2 here this is R2 and then this one over here this one over here would be R1 that one over there is R1 so that high over there is R1 now and then where is our first face so let's mark this out our first face is this part over here where we see the market before the market that's our first face before the market changes character so that's the first phase which is the so here this is the past so this is the past we wait for the past to take place so there's the first phase which is the past or past price action this is past price action and then our second phase will start after this change of character here so here it will be our second phase and then we're gonna be having our third phase now let's label everything that we can spot in our let's label everything that we can spot in our our process let's label everything that we can spot in our process so we do have a resistance here we do have resistance so as you can see we do have some sort of resistance and along this resistance there's some serious manipulation on this resistance as you can see so this is r1 and this is r2 and that is r2 and then we have the approach so how is the approach this is and then where is our q ml this is our q ml level and then when it, where is our mpl here is our mpl here is our mpl where is the significant candle as you can see the significant candle is this block here this block here is the significant candle that block over there would be the significant candle so how does price approach our mpl so where does the, the approach begin the approach begins when we break into the upside when we keep on false breaking to the upside and also to the downside so the approach is here this is the approach and then when we get into the approach we also have the decision part the, the, the part where we we, we, made, we make our decision but before let's see how the market approached that uh mpl so the market approached here some would say it kept on it created a trend line the market created a some some call it an ascending flag or it's a bullish flag so the market 
approached as you can see when the market was approaching our MPL it had some sort of a dying momentum so the momentum was slowing down as the market begin to approach our MPL and then finally it hit our MPL and then within our MPL we had this structure and then finally the market took out the previous the market took out what the previous high the previous low here and then within that we can have a minor QML setup just to have the confirmation so that we can reduce our stop loss a minor QML formation so as you can see here we were pushing to the down to the upside like that and then finally again we expect to see some QML forming there and then where is our price our price would be here with the ways our MPL our MPL our MQL level our QML level is here this is our QML level because the this is the last high before they push to the downside so we had we had this we had this high we had a low and then we had a higher high and after that high high that's when we started seeing a lower low so that's the high as you can see it, it you can even say this is this is just two equal highs this is just two because these are just weeks which weak to the upside these are just two equal highs over here so we can if we can dive into this i can do something like this i can do something like this this is our mql level so where is our significant candle always our MPL so this here would be our MPL so we enter off from this one so immediately when the market pushes to the downside the market taps goes pushes to the upside and then finally the market pushes to the upside so where would be our entry our entry would be here our entry would be here with a short position right on our mql level there stop loss just above the significant candle just above the higher high just so that we can be safe and then we take all the way to the downside so as you can see this is the market is gonna take long before it hits your take profit but eventually it does reach your take profit so the market did reach the take profit eventually like that so i hope you guys can see i hope you guys can see so th that was the first the past action here the price the past price action and then this is where they had a change of character and then after the change of character we had the process during the process we don't trade guys during the process we don't trade some when the market reaches into the downside and then creates a change of character here they try to find a qml setup with the same with the same concepts the same strategy but then this time we, we are trading the m the qml setup so that we can push to the upside so some would wait for the market to break to the upside and then come back to the mql unfortunately this one didn't come back to the mql it just broke and then started pushing to the upside giving us resistant one and resistant two and then some sort of man manipulation here where people would think okay it broke to the, to the upside we start buying it breaks to the downside breaks to the upside breaks to the downside but eventually as you can see we had a good approach when it gets to the approach this is a very very this is a very very big trading point so we don't take a trade yet we wait and see what the market does and then what the market what the market finally did is to push to the downside giving us a small change of character or a minor change of character and then this is where we use our confirmation so as you can see we were able to reduce our stop loss and this is this is like a 1 is to 10 risk reward ratio so you are risking 10 it's a pip for 10 pips so if you are risking 10 pips you're gonna be making uh, 100 pips if you are risking $10 you're gonna be making $100 this is a good trade guys